Hello and welcome to the Dragon Lock Apollo Getting Started Guide. Uh, if you've watched the installation guide, great to have you here. If you haven't, you might want to watch it. I'll put that on screen now just in case. Obviously, if you've already got to this point, you're fine. If you already have the mod pack installed, you're fine. So what we're going to want to go do is join the official server or server list, the button, whatever works for you. So you're going to start off in the hub, okay? And we have a couple servers to select from. We have instance one, which is US one, hosted in New York, uh, of New York state. And then we have instance number two in Dallas, Texas, again, in, in the US. We have instance number three, which is in Los Angeles, uh, California. And then instance four, which is our only European one, EU one, hosted in London. It's not EU 11, that's an error. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to US3. We could type slash server US3 or just US3 itself as a command and we can join. You could also do switch instance, do it here. And once we're here, I'm go ahead and unbanish myself. You won't have to do that. Mind you, we're gonna go ahead and create a character, okay? So, you know, you have all these options, all these races. The um, newest race is the Majin race, which we've just added in the 1.2.5 update back in July, 2022 almost said 2021 or something but anyway you can select all these races they're all fairly balanced there's pros and cons of all of them but really choose whatever race interests you if your favorite character is piccolo choose an Namekian. you know we do our absolute best to balance all of them to a point that you can play whatever you want and play exactly how you want on the r server same thing with classes so i'm just gonna go ahead and choose Namekian for this you, the classes, same thing. Start, these starting stats don't matter whatsoever. It's a slight difference. But anyway, uh, I'm going to choose Martial Artist myself. So you, we can see we got 200 TP. So we're going to go ahead and just put this in. I'll go ahead and go over some of these stats for you. Strength, it's just your melee damage. It affects melee damage, as you can see here. All of these tell you which stat affects them in red text. You can see Dexterity affects running and, fly and just running speed. Um, so what I want to do... I want to go ahead and put a couple points in con because that's important if you don't have enough con you typically want a little bit more than you have strength uh, this just changes the amount you're putting in by the way so i put in con because that gives me more health and stamina stamina you need stamina so you can actually punch because i'm going to use three stamina a punch so and i'll go ahead and put a couple points in decks because defense is cool nice to be able to take hits so one thing to note i'm at 50 percent release what does that mean that means i'm at half my power how do i get that up well you just do the story all of these skills are actually unlocked from the story he attacks you can make them there's no way to level them at the moment we've removed that however we may be adding it back in the future there is pros and cons to each key attack i won't teach you those you can figure those out form mastery how do i get forms from questing a lot of things are from questing if you hover over all of these in your form mastery menu you'll see right here all of them tell you which quest they unlock at okay techniques the same thing we have kyle cannon fusion they all tell you tp boosters these will just boost how much tp you get so while it's while this one's active for one hour i'll get 10 percent extra tp on all the tp gems i claim what are tp gems in case you don't know it's it's training points it's these right here so once they drop, you get them in your inventory and you use them. I'll show you once I do a quest. Just in case you aren't aware, however, you can go to your controls. You want to make sure your stat menu, it doesn't need to be V, but it's V by default. So that's how you get to your character creation and everything. So sorry if I didn't mention that earlier. One more thing next uh, that I forgot to mention is character slots. Character slots are a simple thing. They give you a character slot per server. So since I'm on, I'm on US3, this is my character slot. If I want to play on my US2 character, I can. Now, mind you, you'll have to log on to US2 to get the character just to make sure that the character will be synced. You can move any of these characters anywhere you want. We actually do have a video right here covering this entire topic. Moving on, we're going to go ahead. Uh, if you are joining for the first time, you have an on-screen tutorial. For the sake of this video, I'll suggest you want to run slash tutorial stop. And if you have a tutorial, it should let you stop it. If it doesn't, that's whatever. Just run through it. I'm pretty much covering the same things here. So for the sake of this, I'm going to go ahead and grab daily missions. Daily missions just give you a couple rewards a day. Simple little things. And they re they say refresh at zero UTC. They're on the right in case you haven't seen. What does that mean? That means at zero U universal time. I forget what TC stands for, but it's the universal time. A lot of operating systems use it. So if you look in the top right of your screen, small text up there. 
it is 1925 UTC right now. For me, that's seven hours or eight hours ahead of, yeah, sorry, it is six hours ahead of where I am in CST America. So that time is just a relevant time. And that's when your kits will refresh. That's when your daily missions, gift box, all of those things, um, gift box. I'll quickly cover that. I know I'm jumping all over here, but please try to stay with me. So gift box is just some simple rewards you get every day. You go ahead and do gift box claim normal. It will show you all the ones you have to claim. So I get those, okay? And then you can also check your kits. You can do kit claim all. And then I get all of my kits right there. And mind you, those are like literally every kit because I have all of the permissions, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and move on. Another segment that I glazed over was warp punching machines. You're gonna come here. Basically, what you wanna do, get as strong as you possibly can, go into your highest form. I don't have any, but it's gonna go ahead and swing on this. Damage registered as 40. You're level 135, you're placed into tier zero. Please right click to confirm this damage. There you go. So I got zero TP. I'm weak. You're gonna wanna wait a little bit. So there you go though. That's that, you can see the level brackets here anyway or you can also just do warp vouchers to get here there's also the zenny shop my apologies for going slow the zenny shop you just get to spend your zenny bills right here there's also the tp conversion bot which it will take all the tp in your inventory and convert it once you right click the bot see i don't have enough tp to be converted and this guy same thing but for zenny you could take money out of your slash balance or slash bal bal you could take money out and put money in the physical bills and then this is just a physical trader if you want the specific amount healing items well these are very useful you're gonna want these okay so i'm not gonna go ahead and grab any for this quest since uh it's easy enough but what you can do here you'll just you want to grab typically these are your starting ones um you're gonna want to go ahead and grab some of these but you also get them just in one of your kits I obviously can't claim it because I just did, but yeah, you can go ahead and grab these. They're pretty useful. Um, just read the descriptions of them. They, they tell you pretty well what they do. Um, it's a good thing to use. Over there, here's a food shop. This is where you can get sensu beans, but also dino meat and just some generic food. So uh, personally, I don't really recommend using sensu beans. They're a bit too pricey for the heal value, but you do you. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and before we get to questing, mind you, you can skip around the video if you want. There's chapters. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Warp Shenron. All right. This is just where you exchange your Dragon Balls. Simple enough. Just a nice trader. Cool. These are Black Star Dragon Balls. Same thing. You have to wait till GT to do that, though. We're going to go to Warp Crates. Um, this is where you do all your crates. You go in here. You can exchange your tokens with each of the traders in each of the zones. This is zone one, level level zero. The, the zones are level locked. So you're going to have going to get some crate keys however you get them kits donating etc there are some other ways to get them so as you can see i'm not level 7500 so it won't let me in there next up we have the mall it's just where you buy a lot of blocks you can buy some clothing over here clothing is just no level cap not soul bound etc you just put it on it's cheap you buy it with some zenny you just get these are the current outfits the saiyan namek and android saga we are still adding z we're adding z saga clothing before we get the super saga clothing mind you these are not all the clothing sets we have i'll actually go ahead and skip over to warp armor market you can buy blocks and items at the mall by the way i didn't show that but you can so here at armor market this is the saiyan saga outfits okay so you can go ahead and once you farm the patroller quest you'll get saiyan saga coins this is these are common these are uncommon sets so you use these specific coins all of those have the same trade price namek saga pq android saga pq and movie pack one movie pack two and this will obviously be movie pack three which is an upcoming update and then this is gt our latest edition of armor so you can get all those armor sets and we have plenty more to add we will be adding all of the we still have three more sagas we still have the cell saga pq pq stands for patroller quest in our case uh so we still have the cell saga bobby saga and boo saga pqs to be added so we have plenty more armor coming for you and then the final warp i'll go ahead and show is the warp bank this is just a simple place where you can store things you see right there it's just a little inventory 
Zenny trade bot there for your convenience and Conton transporter. This will just take you tons of places. Tons of options here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the quest hub. Obviously, it was right there, but I'll do warp quest since that's the easiest and most accessible. So we're here. Before we do a quest, I want to go ahead and explain some, something. Dragon Ball Z story is where you start, right? However, the Dragon Ball Super story is where you go next. But patroller quests, you unlock these at very different times. Each, as you can see on screen, each quest has a very different unlock. You'll get PQ 101 at SQ 305, which is that's in the Android saga. You get your first PQ. Movie quests, they also have an unlock. However, you get the whole saga at one time. So once I beat the Namek Saga, I'll unlock Movie Quest Saga 1, which is the Coolers Revenge movie. Those are the current movies we have. Movie Quest, Movie Pack 3 is coming soon. That's our next update. And then this is GT. GT, you don't get this until you beat all of the Z Saga. So we have tons of quests. I think it's about 240 at this point. Challenger Bot, we'll get to this after we go ahead and fight Raditz. So Raditz Arrival, come here. You got your rift to teleport to other quests or back to the story bot. He's just a random NPC standing there. And then Goku. We just want to go, gonna want to go ahead and go through the dialogue. Now, mind you, before you accept a quest, you'll see on your right of your screen, main story quest. That's important. That's where your info shows. So the quest giver is X amount of blocks away. That will help you find the quest giver. So obviously they have a question mark too. So you go ahead and read through his dialogue. Do whatever you do. And then you have the quest. Where's the enemy? Well, if you look on the right of your screen, you have to walk a certain amount of blocks away to spawn the enemy. This is how every quest will work on our server, mind you. So we got the enemy spawned. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys something. If you press, I believe the button is Z by default. Um, I'll go ahead and fly up. Hopefully not die. Um, there is lock on. I set it to my grave key because I personally like that. However, you can change it. And this will keep you locked onto the enemy. And you'll be... You know, it'll make the fight easier. Oh boy, watch out for that. So, we're just gonna go ahead and swing on him. Get our little combo up. Combo is just some simple damage increase. We can go ahead and shoot some key blasts. Mind you, I'm not really specced into key, so it's not gonna do the most amount of damage, but it's a good way to pace out the fight if you need to get away and get some more stamina back. So, there we go. I beat him. I've unlocked Saiyan Warrior 1S. What is that? That's a challenger right there. I'll show you that in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and charge my key. Charging key uses stamina. Mind you, I have a very low level of the meditation skill, which means I charge super slow. But anyway, on to claiming our rewards. You do want to come here every time you beat a quest. So as you can see, I can now repeat the quest as well. But I got 500 TP. That is a lot of TP. It is currently the weekend, so I'm getting an extra 5%. That's great. Anyway... We have TP now. I'm going to go ahead and put it in to some stats. Get some more dex. Wasn't really taking too much damage from him, but it's always good to have. Spirit is a good thing to level, but that's more once you get forms or maybe Kaioken. Personally, I put my stats like that. What is this little thing? That's a Dragon Ball, of course. Collected Saiyan Saga Dragon Ball number one achievements. How do you look at those? Slash achievement or slash achieve. There's a lot of achievements, as you can see. So, you can look at all of the categories by just typing the category name right here. Quests. It'll show you all of your quest completion. Don't mind the count. It's just an error since I've reset my character. Quest challengers. This shows you... There's a lot of there's a lot of info, but for our sake of Dragon Ball, it's collectibles. You get to see the collectibles, and you get to see the count in each saga that you've done. So, you can go ahead and track those down. There's a lot of achievements, and we're going to be adding a lot more. This is this was just added last update. So I'm not going to go ahead and go to the next quest because you get the gist of the quest. We're going to go back to Warp Challengers, which is right next to quest. That's why I said that. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and come here, and we're going to fight a challenger. But before we do that, before we select our stage in this menu, I want to show you something real quick. Right here, come down to Popo. He's not just there. If you click him it opens an entire huge list of help prompts so if you need any further help that was not shown in this video you can come here how do i get more tp it tells you right there how do i unlock forms right there so there's this and i hope that helps you there's also useful commands which will show you all the relevant commands on our server we have parties we have daily bonus there's a lot of things wait that's not there anyway um list of tips this um 
shows you a lot of just random info. There is a lot of tips. Uh, these are shown in the bottom right of your screen, if you can't see that. Did you know the help menu has loads of... That's funny. Uh, didn't plan that. Anyway, yeah, those show in the bottom right of your screen, constantly giving you a little bit of info, so that's fun. And anyway, I'm going to go ahead and come here. I'm going to choose... You only have about this up to here right now. These start being unlocked later. So I'm going to go ahead and do World Marshal... Well, I'm not going to try. Anyway, talk to Xeno Trunks right here with the cool little icon. Boom. I could select my challenger. A lot of these are locked, mind you. However, go ahead and select Goku. He'll show you his drops right here. So that makes it very easy to know which one you want to be farming. Do you want some TP? Do you want a little bit of uh, Z souls? Oh, and I will be making further videos, by the way, going further in depth in certain topics. So if you guys have any suggestions, anything, any questions, really, just ask them down below and I'll let you know. I'll either answer in a comment or I'll be like, hey, let me make a video because I can't explain it in a comment. So I hope that makes sense. And that's really about it. I, I explained forms are unlocked. Uh, I explained armor to you guys. I hope that makes sense. We got a lot of updates coming. We have constant updates for you guys. Uh, we we are still very much in development. Um, so if you want to keep tracking that, please join our Discord. We would love to have you in the community chatting with us, conversing with us. So that's also a great place to get info on all of these updates, get all the kinds of details that you could ever want. You, you'll know everything about the server. Teasers for the next update? Sure. Roadmap for the next four updates? Sure. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. I uh, hope this video wasn't too long for you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the server. Again, ask any comments in the description. I'll get back to you in the description, in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you around.